Hello, this is Matt from tracyandmatt.co.uk and for unboxings.com. Here I have a pocket projector. This is the 3M M Pro 150 pocket projector. Now, if you've uh, been a regular to Tracy and Matt for a while, you may recall that we actually, a while ago, looked at the Pico pocket projector, um, which was, I think, one of the first, if not the first pocket projector on the market, and certainly the first that we'd actually seen. Um, it was okay. It had some sort of, it was fairly basic in its feature set. And I think this particular product does expand upon that in uh, quite a bit. So let's take a look at what's inside and open her up. So, open the packaging. There we go. And the projector itself is kind of on top. Let's just move that out of the way. As you can see, it's pretty small and, well, it's very light. I'm going to come back to that in a second because I want to just see what other accessories are supplied with it. So, move that top out of the way. Bag of silica shell. So we have the warranty and safety guide, and it is, uh, well, it's in pretty much every language going. Then there is the quick start guide, which, uh, well, has a cut, just a few pages. It opens out like a leaflet, as you can see there. So that's the quick start guide. Then we have um, intellectual property rights and software license. Well, don't need to worry about that just a moment. There is a case kind of a leather effect, it's plastic basically, but it kind of looks like leather and uh, obviously that's for keeping the keeping the projector tidy then have what I think to be a battery, so let's just have a look yeah, so this is the battery which is a, what does, does it say the capacity? 2200 milliamp power battery the battery life is actually quoted at two hours, so that's pretty decent if that's right, accurate. We have a USB to mini USB sync cable. Um, I'll come to that in a moment. That's what that's for. We then have well, uh, a number of different plugs. So we have, well, first of all, UK three pin, standard sort of style plug. So we're gonna need that one. One for Europe. Uh, one for USA and one for I think that's Australia or the Australia, Australasia markets and then the charger itself is here so that goes uh, along with with this it's actually fit in somehow that way around there we go and that actually just fits on there and obviously that's the wall charger and then it's got kind of a bullet style connector on the other end for plugging into the projector. We have a couple of adapters. These are phono style adapters, so you can plug phono cables or phono to phono. There's three of those, I'll leave them in the box. There is a two gig micro SD memory card. Put that to one side. There is a small tripod, and it's one of these where the legs kind of just bend out and you know, works like that, so that's a you know, fairly rudimentary tripod, but hey, it comes with it, it's pretty good. We then have cable, which is, now on one end there is a proprietary style connector because that is required for plugging into the projector itself. There's a three and a half mil headphone socket and then there is a standard VGA D sub connector 15 pin. So this end will plug into your laptop or PC, and the other end plugs into the projector itself. So that comes in the box. And the other cable that we get is exactly the same sort of thing in terms of you know, it has a proprietary connector on one end, but then it has a composite and the left and right audio connectors there. So uh, you can use this in combination with these to plug in. Um, video cable from a variety of sources, and I think well, it'll even work with the iPod because and the iPhone because uh, you know, if you've got an iPod or an iPhone um, AV cable, they will just plug into there as well. So that's pretty cool. So let's take a look at the projector itself and uh, have a little tour around. Obviously, the lens is on the front with um, our um, focus control just there, so that we can actually obviously optimize the focus. This is where we plug in the tripod that screws in. That looks to be a standard quarter inch uh, thread, so I think that'll work with pretty much any tripod. There is uh, a built-in loudspeaker, 
Uh, it's only one watt, but you know it does the job, uh, and it will. I'm assuming it will be loud enough for just like your ad hoc usage. And on top, have a cover over. Just peel that off. On top we have a series of controls. One is a power button. The other one's like a, a menu button, uh, a menu navigation, and an enter button in the centre. We'll look at those at some point later. On the side, we have a micro SD card socket, and on the back we have that uh, proprietary AV style connector. We have audio in. Then we have the USB connector and the DC in. Obviously, that's where we plug in the charger. Um, that's pretty much it for the external controls. The bottom comes open like so. Battery pops in yep, that way round, and then the cover goes back on. Now, even with the battery in place, it's not particularly heavy. That would easily sit in, uh, fit in your pocket. Certainly fit in your kit bag, no problem at all. And let's just see if we've got any power. If we can power on, yeah, we do have some power. Now, I don't know how well that's going to come out. I will obviously do um, more detailed video, and um, I do have a proper projector screen, so. I'll do a demo with a proper projector screen um, later on, but you, you basically get the, the idea. It's not going to be the brightest because it is pocket and it is an LED uh, illuminated. And as you can probably hear there, there is an internal fan that's just running. Now we do have the menu there that's showing on on the table on the table there. I don't know if you can really see that in too much detail. Like I say, I'll do a proper follow-up video and I'll actually use a proper projector screen in uh, much darker conditions and I'll attach that onto the back of this video. But uh, let's just turn that off. Now the reason for the USB and the micro SDHC memory card and the fact that there is one gig of built-in memory actually into the unit itself is that it supports a variety of standards and if I just actually show you the back of the box. Now the actual projector itself supports Word, Excel, PowerPoint, PDF, bitmap, JPEG, text files H.264, MP3 and MP4 files. If you put those files onto the built-in one gig of memory or onto a micro SDHC memory card, the projector itself will stand alone and play back those files. So it would be it video or presentations, documents, whatever. You only need to actually put them on here. You wouldn't need to use a laptop or iPod or any of those external devices. It will work just on here. So we're going to look at that in a bit more detail and say we'll actually use that with a projector and we'll check that out too when it comes down to it. It is VJ resolution natively, so 640 by 480 and only 15 and, uh, lumens. Not going to be the brightest, but hey, it's pocket, it's a projector, um, you, you know, you can darken the room and I'm sure it'll work fine. So I'm going to come back later and I'll do, uh, let's get this set up and uh, I'll follow on this with a uh, more detailed video of the actual device in use. Okay, so um, I've waited until it's a bit darker, turned down the lights a bit, and we're looking at the 3M pocket projector on a proper projector screen. It's all but pitch black in the room, and at a distance of around uh, two and a half meters from the screen. As you can see there, the screen is almost completely full with the image projected from the pocket projector. It's pretty bright, considering um, it's only 15 lumens um, and it is just using an LED to actually illuminate so it's not bad at all. In daylight you can pretty much forget about doing anything at any great distance. Um, the pocket projector will probably project an image at a distance of a few feet and of a size of a few feet wide um, or high but uh, any greater distance well your image is basically completely lost to be honest with you. It does need um, relatively dark conditions. So this basically is your main display or your home menu and I'm actually controlling, I can control those and just aim that camera down. You can see there the controls on the top of the projector are illuminated so that we can actually find them in the dark and obviously see what we're doing. And I'll actually put some media on the projector uh, using the one gig of internal memory. So forgive the shakiness because I'm obviously having to do this handheld. Um, first of all, I'm just going to pop into a Word document. So going into the thing at the top there, 
will actually just list Word documents. So I'll just pop into a Word document. It uses Pixel Viewer. So it does load the full document as you can see. And then I can click to zoom in and click to zoom in and click to zoom in. I can do that four times. So I've got four levels of zoom. So the full document, zoom one, two, three, four. And it doesn't do too bad a job. I mean, even at that first or second um, step of zoom, I can actually see and read that document even at this distance. So not too bad at all. And if I come back out there and go back, I don't have any PowerPoint presentations, but that's uh, that would be how you actually load a PowerPoint slideshow. The next one along is Excel documents and Excel viewer. Below that is photos. Um, it's a little bit fussy about the type of images that it's going to display. Um, I've put a couple of JPEG images on here, but for a second or two, it says no file. Uh, there are JPEG images on the actual memory card, but it just doesn't want to display them. Um, I think it's down to the, you know, the actual format that they've been put on the memory card, um, but it just doesn't want to display them. In the middle item there is favourites. Haven't really been quite able to work out what that does. I mean, I understand that it should be anything that you've recently viewed or stuff like that should be in there, but it doesn't seem to do what I expect it to do. This item here is uh, for movies and for MP3s. Now I can play MP4 files and MP3 files directly from a memory card or from the internal memory on the projector. So if I push that, I have first of all an MP3. Um, it will just play it. Um, it's not really going to be um, a very good um, actual demo for a video because uh, it just makes the screen go black and just plays an mp3 file so you can just trust me on that one but the one below is an mp4 and it plays back okay you can hear the internal speaker which works quite well it's loud enough for just doing a ad hoc presentation and it's bright enough, it plays back quite quite nicely. You may notice a little bit of flicker on the video uh, the video camera itself, but obviously that you don't notice that when you're just looking at it with your own eyes. That's down to the refresh rate. I mean that works quite well. And that is playing just back an MP4 file from the memory or the internal memory of the actual projector. So that's pretty impressive. And we'll come back out. Finally, we actually got a file viewer, which does pretty much what it says on the tin, and a PDF viewer. Let's just pop into the PDF viewer. This takes a while to actually generate the actual image. It's a 3 meg file, which is not enormous um, as PDF files go, but it does take a while to load. So I might just skip a little bit of this sequence. It's probably going to take about 60 seconds or so. And it does come up. And uh, actually this is the manual itself for the projector, which I just put onto the memory um, so that you can actually see what it does. Uh, I can actually scroll left and right if it was a large image. Scrolling down, it just scrolls down through the pages. Uh, and that works quite well. I mean, even at this zoom level, I can see what the text says. It works quite well. I can also I can push the middle button on the navigation uh, buttons on the collector itself and zoom in and again I've got four levels of zoom for each document type so at that level that works quite well and rather than just scrolling whole pages it will just scroll up and down the pages of text so that all works quite well I can scroll down through my pages and what I have found though is that if you want to skip to the next page you have to zoom back out go to the next page and then zoom in. I can't scroll all the way to the bottom at this zoom level and get to the next page unfortunately. I have to zoom out, scroll down and zoom back in. It's a bit of a pain but um, it does work okay. So that's a demo of the main features 
of the 3M pocket projector and we can also hook up external video sources so you can hook it up to your um, iPod, your PC or, or laptop and, and various other sort of standard video sources they all seem to work quite well in much the same way as we've already seen here there is a settings menu there um, as you've probably noticed as we've been going through there doesn't seem to be any keystone correction so um, you know it wants you really basically to try and project directly onto the screen rather than at an angle um, I don't think that's terribly realistic to be honest with you I think almost always you're going to be projecting at the screen at an angle um, but there is as I say no keystone correction so as I say that's a demo of the main features of the 3M pocket projector I have a full review for you over the next couple of weeks um, I'm actually going to be doing quite a few presentations over the coming weeks as well so I'm going to see if this is realistically possible to use um, for doing those uh, sort of small scale um, meetings and presentations and I'll be back soon with some more videos and reviews on tracingmat.co.uk